There's plenty of fish in the sea, but if you don't know what you're doing, you'll be left fiddling with your rod. Therefore, in this episode of No Gameplay Just Tutorial, I will teach you the new fishing technique introduced to the constant and how to catch different types of fish. Let's start with the tools and items we need. No fishing can be done without a fishing rod and from science machine you'll be able to craft one sturdy enough to handle bites from the ocean. On the fishing pole itself you have two inventory slots, one for the floats and one for the baits. For now there isn't much option for the floats other than a simple twig. And as for the bait you can either use seeds or berries. In order to catch a fish, simply stand by the shore and a school of fish shall appear nearby as long as the body of water leads to the ocean. So now's the time to cast the line and hope they bite. Once they do, it is crucial that you only reel in at the right moment. And that moment is indicated by the position of the fishing rod. If the rod is lowered, it means you are not reeling fast enough and you'll eventually lose your fish and the bait. If the rod is pulled up, it means the fish is resisting and you must stop reeling in or the line will snap, thereby costing you not only the fish but also any bait and float you are using. After a bit of tug of war, you caught your fish, but this one is not for feast but for rot since spoiled fish is a key ingredient to build tackle receptacle, a crafting station where you can now cook a variety of items to help you fish better. Of course, if you want to skip this get to know step, just grab a freshwater fish from good old pond and leave that one to spoil so you can craft a receptacle right away. Now among the items you can make from this station, let's go over the floats first, currently listed from the worst to the best with their ingredients displayed. For now the receptacle only allows you to craft wooden bobbers which do not reach far and do not always land where you want, still the materials are quite cheap and they're always better than nothing. Then we have the feather floats which are definite upgrade from the wooden ones, also it does not matter which feather you choose as they all have the same stats. In order to unlock them at your receptacle you need coupons, and while these papers drop from any bird next you snap the chance of finding one is equal to that of getting Krampus' sack. If you prefer high risk with high and sure returns, slice up some bigger birds like Moose Goose and Malvatross to get their floats, both proving to be the most superior floats available for now. The lures you can craft determine what kind of fish you can catch and how easily you can catch it. And unlike seeds and berries, these lures can be used as long as you want as long as you know how to fish. The small baits known as spoons are used to catch small fish and while they can lure big fish as well, big baits called spinners are used for slightly faster catch. Along with that, the names and the colors indicate at what time they can be used more effectively. Now we have learned the basics of fishing and if fish meets all you desire, that's pretty much all you need to know. However, if you're going after specific kinds or wish to learn better ways to fish, it won't hurt to know more about the creatures you can hook up with. Currently, there are four different types of water you can find fish swimming around, coastal, swell, rough, and hazardous. And five smaller ones are usually found closer to land, so let's go over them first. Filling the water near coast, smolt fry and needle nose squirt are the first two to be introduced, and quite possibly first two to be caught. You'll be using spoon lures to catch these fellas, but note that seeds and berries are just as effective. Then we have Runty Guppy who has the same fondness for seeds and berries like the first two, but this one can also be found at swell waters. Bitty Baitfish is relatively rare type scattered over coastal, swell and rough. Yes, it would suck to find them after sailing for such a long distance. Popperfish is another type crowding the coast but can only be caught with seeds or berries. Interestingly, this one drops popcorn instead of morsel. Then we move on to bigger ones, those that can provide proper fish meat rather than measly fish morsel. If you're lucky, mudfish can be found as close as the coast or at the swell. Both seeds and berries can be used as bait but mudfish always prefers berries. Black catfish share the same taste for baits and can be found in swell and rough waters. Deep bass is also found in both swell and rough waters but this one refuses both seeds and berries. This hate for veggie meal is also a trait of dandelion fish. If you seek heaviest fish for the scale, this is perhaps the best bet. Only problem is this one sticks around at hazardous water, so search for them at your own risk. 
And finally, we have the corn cod that goes especially crazy over seeds and berries. Found in swell and rough waters, this one is known to drop disappointment instead of meat. If silhouette is not enough to tell what's swimming around you, drop a food item and they'll soon reveal themselves. Rot or seeds seem to be the cheapest option that works in all fish except meat-loving dandelion and deep bass. And now trivia and tips. When there's a fish hooked at the end, make sure you are not interrupted by anything that will make you quit reeling in. This includes performing other actions such as moving and getting attacked by sons of beaches. If that happens, you'll be losing both bait and float like when the line snaps. Rubber bung can be used as a float and bent sport can be used as a bait. The plug can be casted as far as Malbatross floats, though with accuracy worse than wooden bobbers. As for the spork, it is a bait effective for all fish except small poppers. Fishing for ocean debris is one way to find feather float coupon, but the debris is not so common and the chance of getting coupon from this sea vomit is only 1% as well. And that is all for this episode. If you fancy videos that provide information in straight to point yet detailed manner, do consider liking, sharing and subscribing, for it is my best interest to waste my own time to save yours. With that being said, cheers.